Hey y'all, welcome back for another Tech Talk video. Today I'm gonna give you five practical ways for you to be consistent as a content creator. When it comes to being an influencer or growing your brand or business on social media, one of the top pieces of advice that people give is to be consistent. You gotta be consistent if you wanna see growth and all these things, but what does it really look like to be consistent? And one thing I found is that every day looks different. Some days you may give 100%, other days you may give 20%. Some days you might not show up at all, but as long as you continue showing up, that's a form of consistency in itself. So I wanted to share with you guys five practical ways that I personally have been able to remain consistent and kind of parameter parameters and boundaries that I put in place that help me to continue to press forward in this creator influencer journey. So one of the main things that is very important is to create a schedule that works for you and stick to it. So just let's park at the first part of that phrase, create a schedule. So I want you to analyze like your brand, your business, if you're a content creator, like what do you have the bandwidth to do? How can you create a schedule that works for you? For me, I found it's very difficult for me to maintain my main page, Slim Roche, and this page, Uncut Gems with Slim, by posting the same days on both platforms. Currently, as I'm the only person who's editing content and posting content, like I'm just not able to post daily on both of those pages. So what I found that works for me is to alternate days. So on my main page, I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. On my podcast page, I post Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday would be my day off. Now, sometimes those days may rotate depending on how much content that I already have like batch recorded and edited and ready to go out. But for the most part, that is on paper my schedule. Now the second part of that, you create a schedule and stick to it. What I mean by sticking to it is that when life gives you lemons and things happen, don't like completely forget about the schedule that you basically have set in stone. Like you can always come back to it. I like to think of my schedule like a baseline. So anytime anything, you know, roller coaster goes, at the end of the day, my schedule is a set schedule. If something happens and I'm unable to post this week on Wednesday, well, I'm just going to jump back in on schedule. And I kind of mentioned this in one of our previous videos where I answered you guys' creator questions. I recommend treating your schedule almost like that best friend that you don't talk to every day, but when you link up like it's the same vibes like great energy that's how i think about my schedule so like if i miss a day if i don't show up on a day or whatever it may be i don't try to backlog and backtrack to catch up with my content because you'll always feel like you're in a mindset of catching up catching up catching up and you'll never really feel ahead so instead of trying to catch up all the time when you fall off track just jump back in to the schedule that works for you. The reason why I think creating a schedule is so important is because I learned recently that structure is literally a catalyst for consistency. So if you're a full-time influencer or even a part-time influencer, um, the way I like to think about it is, is if you're going to work every day, nine to five, eight to five, whatever it may be, you know you got to be there because you're getting a check. Two, you gonna get there. And, and you're going to sit at that desk or you're going to do that job till it's time to clock out, right? So we have to apply that same energy and keep that same energy when it comes to our business. Like, okay, you getting home. Well, clock in from 6 to 9 or whatever your hours are. Like, clock in during that time and lock in. I feel like when you work from home, it's harder to kind of create a structured space that allows you to feel like, you know, I have to do this. Sometimes I feel like when we work from home, we lack that sense of structure because we're in our place of comfort, which allows us to be a little loose with our discipline versus if we were sitting at the library or sitting at our desk at work, like nine times out of 10, you're going to do your work because you're there anyways. So I've started to kind of recreate that structure here at home. So I may sit at my desk for, you know, 
however many hours in my schedule that I'm working for the day and I will just sit there almost as if I'm in a room full of co-workers or another thing that's been super helpful is either co-working with other remote workers friends that you may have or going to like a restaurant or a coffee shop and doing your work there because it's something about being around other people that you just kind of like lock in like when you at home if you get tired you can lean back and you know take you a nap and do this and that and this and that but you're not you're gonna be a little bit more productive when you're in public because you're not gonna sit in starbucks and when you get tired like you're not gonna lay out and take a nap when you know you're supposed to be working so i like to kind of change up the scenery and create environments that allow me to be productive so just to refresh create a schedule and stick to it if you fall off just jump back in and don't try to catch up number two one way you can remain consistent is to remember your why reminding yourself of why you started this content creator journey or why you started your brand will allow you to streamline your perspective when it comes to creating content what i mean by this is you look at your content in a different lens when you remember your why you don't feel like the content you're creating or the products that you're putting out is just to please other people like when you remember your why you're able to shift your perspective if your why is to um reach people so they can grow in their self-love and self-awareness or draw closer to the lord whatever your why is should be the driving force behind the content you create so when you remember like okay i'm trying to a voice for girls who look like me that they are beautiful the way that they are you know whatever it is like when you remember that your content reflects it versus your content reflecting you trying to stay up with the trends you trying to you know be quick with it so you can ride the waves when you shift your focus on creating content for other people and it's not based in your reason why you started your business or your brand one it shows two it impacts your ability to remain consistent because when you get away from who you are and what your brand is about then you're just going to be riding the wave of trends and culture shifts and all these things versus continuing to steadfast and put out content that is true to you number three i kind of touched on this in number one but i recommend finding an environment to work in that is conducive for your creative style I find it a lot easier to remain consistent when my workplace is a place where I feel like I could just flow, I can just create and I don't have to do a whole lot, a whole lot, of, right? So for instance, right now, girl, I'm in another room. I am situating my office space and just trying to get it to the point where it is like my, I don't know, my sanctuary to be able to just create and do what I love. Sometimes when you're always creating in the same space, doing the same thing every day, it can kind of get redundant. So I've started also going to like restaurants, you know, coffee shops, Starbucks, you know, whatever, to just change up my scenery. And that has allowed me to be more disciplined and more productive because I find it easier to remain consistent when I'm in a work area that promotes doing work. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but when you're in a public space or you're around other people who are working, like, you just lock in. Maybe that's just me, but I'm just saying that's what works for me. Same thing when I'm filming, like, beauty content and stuff like that. If my beauty room is not set up the way that I like it or it's not given what it's supposed to give, then you can sometimes see that in my content and it's hard for me to remain consistent when I'm just constantly trying to figure out like put my finger on what's wrong with my workspace um so I definitely recommend if you have never tried switching up the scenery when it comes to creating whether that be filming or your editing process I definitely recommend trying that out number four invest in things that are gonna make your work easier for you to do a few things that have made it easier for me in my creative process are one, storage. Like having hard drives and SSDs have been a game changer for me and SD cards with a large amount of storage. Nothing's more frustrating than when you're recording a video and you get the message, oh, the recording stopped because you run, ran out of storage or you're trying to edit and your computer runs out of storage, all those things. 
All of that can slow down your process and hinder you from remaining consistent when it comes to creating your content. So make sure if that's an issue that you run into, that you look into different ways that you can invest in your storage. Another thing I had to get was faster internet. Slow internet speeds are not fun when it comes to editing these large files and stuff like that. So if you're struggling with that, this is your sign to call up Spectrum or whoever, AT&T, to speed up that internet because you'll appreciate it in the long run. Another thing that makes stuff easier is having a film station where I could just sit down and press record and I don't have to be moving stuff around all the time every time I run a record. But when I do have to move my gear and equipment and set up my space, like all of that takes away from your ability to just sit down and create. So if you have a space and you can set up a space that is like your dedicated filming area where you don't really have to move the equipment around, unplug stuff and all of that stuff, if you're able to have a stationary filming area, like you're going to appreciate it and it's going to help you remain consistent. Last but not least, you got a plan. So I like to gather myself either at the beginning of the week or the end of the week to prepare me for the upcoming days. For me, it's way easier to film, to edit, to pitch once you've already done the prep work for the things on your to-do list. So either at the beginning or the end of the week, go ahead and create a to-do list for the week. Break it down by daily tasks. But you don't want to just do that. You want to go ahead and prep that information. So for instance, I like to prep my post for the week. For me, that looks like creating the captions, adding hashtags, and uploading the content into my Instagram drafts. So when my alarm goes off during the week to post, I can just go into my drafts and hit post. So I'm not wasting additional time trying to curate that post in the moment during the day when I'm trying to post on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is. So that's one thing you can do to kind of like do that prep work and pre-plan for your week. Another thing I like to do when it comes to YouTube is optimizing my content. So sometimes before I even film, I like to go ahead and create my description box, add any links or any product names and all those things. I use Notion to organize it, but I go ahead and put all of that information into Notion where I have my description box ready to go, my captions, my hashtags, all of that stuff is ready to go so now when i need to film a video during the week once i film and edit like i literally can just plug and play into whatever social platform i'm posting to if you're pitching to brands that may look like you creating pitch decks or going ahead and listing out which brands that you want to reach out to this week and which days you're going to do that maybe even curating the message that you're going to send to them creating a plan allows you to just execute when the time comes during the week for you to post your content or check off something on your to-do that's all i got y'all go ahead and comment below ways that you remain consistent in your content creator journey Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads and check out my latest video where I shared my top favorite places to buy camera gear and tech. As always, I love y'all and until next week. Bye.